Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tori and I make travel and adventure content. Today we'll be going over the best and worst parts about being an expat here in Bahrain. I moved to Bahrain in July 2020, so about the height of COVID. So I've experienced Bahrain during high COVID times, as well as once things opened up and we were allowed to take our masks off. I've also experienced two summers as well as one winter, and I can tell you that I much prefer the winter time. Overall, the pros outweigh the cons by a long haul. So if you're interested in moving here or even visiting, keep on watching. We're gonna start with the cons so we can end on a good note. Although seasonally dependent, my number one con is the heat. It can get upwards to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's not even accounting for the humidity. Honestly, this probably applies to a lot of countries in this region, but it is one of the worst parts about living in Bahrain. To me, sometimes it's even too hot to go to the pool or beach. When you're at the pool, the sides of the pool are just too hot to walk on with bare feet. And then if you go to the ocean or the beaches, the water feels like bath water, which is kind of gross sometimes. I also find myself spending a lot of time inside too during the summer. I don't want to go out and explore because I come back a sweaty mess. I usually will do one activity and be too exhausted from the heat to continue to explore. In my opinion, there's only two seasons here. There is summer, which consists of spring, summer, and fall, and then a couple weeks during the winter where it is nice and 75 and sometimes rainy. All that being said, if you love the heat and if you love the humidity, you should definitely check out Bahrain. If you don't and you're just visiting, I recommend visiting in some of the winter months. The second worst thing is the air quality and dust. In the winter, sometimes you'll experience some dust storms, which are no fun to breathe in. And in the summer, it's just so humid and sometimes the trash from the city uh, emits fumes and it just, it's not a good situation. The country does do a really good job of keeping the streets clean and you'll see people sweeping the streets in various parts of the cities but there's just a certain amount of that smell and that feeling and that air quality that you cannot avoid. Once you get a little further out, you don't smell or feel the poor air quality as bad, but Bahrain is a small country and a lot of places that you'll be living or visiting are in the city. Con number three, the drivers. Now this one, I really don't fault the Bahrainis usually, the bad drivers are from out of town, namely Saudi Arabia, but driving on these roads is kind of crazy and you even have to be careful if you're walking or biking. When I first arrived here in Bahrain, I was biking to and from work in Jafar and I ended up selling my bike because I almost got ran over a couple times. For me, it really just wasn't worth it. Now when I'm driving, I'll sometimes get cut off all of a sudden and you just always have to have your head on a swivel. As I've mentioned in a few other videos, I actually get motion sickness and I even get motion sickness in the back of Uber sometimes. And so bad driving just really does not help my case. If you get motion sickness like me, I cannot recommend those acupressure bracelets enough. I even wear them in Ubers and they're life changing. Con number four, and it applies mainly to females, but the occasional harassment. Now, I don't think the Bahrainis are doing the harassing. I think it's mostly the tourists that come over here on the weekends. I bring this up not to deter you from visiting. It's not everyone, but it's something to definitely be aware of if you're going to live here or visit. Especially in the city, I've experienced people driving very slowly by me, catcalling, trying to strike up a conversation as I'm walking and they're in the car, just stuff like that. This mostly occurs in the city, however it's happened to me during the day and night. However, I would say it's a lot more common at night. I almost always wear long pants or a skirt and can imagine that anything shorter would attract more attention. And while I'm all for people wearing what they want to wear and feeling comfortable and confident in their clothes, you have to remember it's a Muslim country and people generally dress more conservatively. And although I've occasionally been harassed, I've never felt like I was in danger. And I bring this all up so you are aware and prepared, especially if you are a solo female expat or traveler. 
My last con is personal and depends on each individual, but I miss being away from my friends and family. Now this comes with the territory of being an expat and living far away. It's not always easy to just hop on a plane from Bahrain. This is even more prevalent during COVID times when a PCR test is required to even get on a plane. But the good thing is cell phone contracts here are very affordable and Bahrain is a great place for your friends and family to visit. Now onto the positive, the best parts about living in Bahrain. Number one, there are so many things to do. If you like the outdoors, you can enjoy the water. You can go to the beach, hop on a boat and go to Aldar Island, go snorkeling, go scuba diving. You can rent a jet ski. There are so many water activities here. If you like culture, you can walk around the Purling Path, go to Maharik, go to the museum, or even just enjoy the souk. And if you like a little bit of adventure, you can always go go-karting, rock climbing, or even indoor skydiving. And I hate to admit, probably one of my favorite things is the shopping. You can buy gorgeous Persian rugs or Bahraini doors and turn them into tables. You can get custom made suits and even gold. And if you've watched any of my videos, you, you know I have a little bit of a gold and suit addiction. I will link those videos above. Number two, the Bahraini people. Bahrainis are extremely kind and welcoming and they are more than happy to share their culture with you. During my time here, I've really enjoyed interacting with various shop owners and artisans. Day-to-day -day Bahrainis are fantastic to interact with. A lot of them actually speak English, which is very helpful because I unfortunately do not speak Arabic. Number three, the culture. While there are plenty of Western comforts here, there is an undeniably unique culture in Bahrain. And luckily, there are plenty of places to experience it. I think my favorite place is the Manama Souk. In the Manama Souk, you can shop for various traditional items, you can interact with Bahraini storekeepers, and you can even try traditional Bahraini food at Haji's Cafe. I also recommend following local Bahrain on Instagram. They post various events as well as opportunities to further explore this culture. Bahrainis are also extremely proud of their culture. I've been very impressed on how they've managed COVID over this last year and a half. The Bahraini government has set up very impressive testing sites and established this green card system that everyone abides by. As a small country, the kingdom has prioritized its citizens' health and has kept the COVID numbers very, very low. They've really made it a team effort here. Number four, the food. In addition to the traditional Bahraini food mentioned in my culture piece, I love the variety of food here in Bahrain. As a little bit of a melting pot with people from India, from the Philippines, Pakistan, the United States, there are tons of food options here. It was one of my most pleasant changes moving from Japan where there was a lot of sushi, rice, and ramen. In addition to Ubers being plentiful and very affordable, there's also a delivery service called Talabat. You can pretty much get any kind of food on Talabat from Shake Shack to shawarmas. The delivery fee is usually less than one US dollar and they arrive in anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes still hot, I'm definitely going to miss it. And my last pro is the ease of getting around. Although you have to be careful, it is pretty easy to drive here in Bahrain. As an American, you still drive on the right side of the road and rentals anywhere out in town are very affordable. We're talking about anywhere from 10 to 13 US dollars a day, which is insane in comparison to the prices right now in the United States. I've also already mentioned this, but the Ubers here are extremely convenient and very affordable. If you live in the city, you can also walk, bike, and electric scooters actually have become a thing lately. Just watch out for the crazy drivers. On top of transportation within Bahrain, it is extremely easy to travel anywhere in the Middle East. There are some direct flights straight from Bahrain International Airport, but it's also very easy to fly through Abu Dhabi or Dubai. Unfortunately, due to COVID, I wasn't able to travel 
as much as I wanted, but I did make a trip to Oman. And since Bahrain is so easy to get to, I will definitely be back here again if I end up traveling to the Middle East. Overall, I've loved living here in Bahrain and would recommend it to anyone considering moving here or even just visiting. While it is time for me to go back home to the United States, I will always remember my time in Bahrain and how special it truly has been. And that's all for me this time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow along because we have the world to see. Bye.